the past six years or even, or even more, ever since the implementation of the new policy, or in Barca we call that PPSMI, sure. the teaching of science and maths in English, many a time we come across various schools of thought and polemics. But unfortunately, many of these people, including the politicians and uh, NGOs alike, they tend to argue their case uh, along the linguistic lines. Perhaps sometimes people may say that they make a stand because they need to show their love for the particular language. But to me, as a pragmatist, I would call myself a pragmatist. I would rather prefer to look at several key issues that are dear to my heart, or perhaps that are equally relevant uh, to the general public, irrespective of race. Firstly, when we first implemented the policy, were we ready at that point of time, mm -hmm. especially uh, with the uh, teaching staff and teaching aides that we have? Were we ready? The answer is unfortunately negative. We might have something good, something uh, well-intentioned, but if we couldn't find an adequate pool of teachers who were trained to teach science and maths in English, not in any other languages, but in English, that is going to uh, precipitate some undesirable effects, end of the day. And on top of that, I think, don't ever forget that. We need to set our sights on the competitiveness of our system, our curriculum, the language that we use to teach, as well as, as, well as the continuity of our system. Okay. Continuity. That is of utmost importance now. That's right. Yeah. But Dr. Sweet, considering we'll be doing mother tongue in primary, and then Bahasa at secondary, and then pre U and tertiary in English. to English, yeah. don't you think there's not at all that continuity? This is something that I show my concern, and uh, I did raise my concern uh, immediately after the announcement made. Uh, but, but having said that, now I need to make my stand clear. Now, as the MC President, I did mention earlier in a few occasions, as far as elementary schools or primary schools are concerned, we do understand the kind of difficulties or challenges uh, that are now confronting, that have been confronting uh, the school administrators or even Ministry of Education. For instance, like Chinese primary schools or even for this matter, Skola Kabangsa and the national schools. They were then facing the same problem, that is the acute shortage of well-trained teachers, science and maths teachers who were trained in English. And you, could, you couldn't simply rely on literal translation word by word. How could you do that? And more so, if you were to use textbooks in English, science and maths textbooks in English, but you choose to deliver your lectures or to conduct the class in Bahasa or sometimes in other languages, now that is going to cause trouble because end of the day, the students may get confused easily. But in the case of Chinese primary schools, perhaps, uh, their problems are quite unique in the sense that there's S the uh, SJKC were then given the liberty, were then given the latitude, rather, to conduct science and maths, science and maths subjects in both English and Mandarin. But again, the children may get bored because after having attended the class in Mandarin, for instance, you learn the same subject, you learn the same stuff, and you have to repeat, you have to go through another session in English, exactly the same stuff, perhaps sometimes with the same teachers, the same phases. <laughs> uh, that is going to 
uh, that is going to uh, create boredom, I call it boredom in, in the classroom. Uh, since we are on the issue of uh, language, one of the main concerns is that uh, at primary school level, even at secondary school level, uh, the decline of English has been quite horrific. Um, the government have talked about, they have given assurances that they want to arrest the continuing uh, deterioration of English. Um, but what is your view on this? You know? Well, I think it's timely to, to take some drastic measures. And I, for one, now, since those days, I make my stand very clear. Even at the height of uh, uh, the public debate on the teaching of science and maths in English. But to me, teaching of science and maths in English, in a way, could only help us to improve or to have a good grasp of technical English. But it doesn't help you in, in, uh, promote, uh, in enhancing your competitiveness as far as English uh, as far as mastery of English is concerned. And we need to consider seriously uh, ways and means to bring back the English literature to our curriculum, be it uh, in the form of abridged version or contemporary English literature. This would certainly help. Because now that it is no longer a secret that our, now our younger generation including some of our undergrads, uh, they had been trained in such, uh, by such a module that they don't need to study grammar. Yeah. Grammar was something alien to them. And what they studied or what they have been studying thus far uh, was mainly confined to what they call the communicational English. And I still could remember uh, the hard days, the tough life I had gone through when I first learned the English grammar. Mm -hmm. okay. Actually, um, there's a perception that uh, this revert reverting back to BM is political. And at the same time, there's also some there's perception that uh, our leaders are going to be out of touch. And they say that, you know, like uh, when the education minister was surprised that grammar was not taught, and so there's this feeling that uh, perhaps there's a, there's a disconnect between the leaders and what people are actually experience, that the kids may not go to the same schools, and, and so they don't really know what's the situation in the schools. Well, I'm more concerned about the, the problem of uh, continuity, because uh, when I first learned that uh, we are going to revert back to Barca uh, for both primary and secondary schools, the first question coming to my mind was, what are we going to do with the present cohort? Right? Because you would end up with such a scenario where uh, certain individuals, certain, st certain students might have, to, might have to learn science and maths, first in English, then later on switch to Bahasa, and perhaps at higher level, switching back to English again. And how are they going to make themselves adaptable to such changes? I mean, this is what I've been uh, uh, voicing to my colleagues or even within my party. And uh, I think we need to address this urgently because in the past few days, I do understand that the general public, especially the parents, they have been showing, they have been voicing their concern. So the three, will you push for Maths and science in English at secondary level? Uh, I've been, uh, in fact, I've been uh, voicing that uh, even in cabinet. And uh, the other day, sorry that uh, when I uh, when I called for a press conference just to address some of the questions raised earlier by the Chinese language media, uh, that was only confined to uh, the Chinese media. Not because of any other reasons, but simply because uh, one day before that, I think my uh, uh, missed calls had been numerous and uh, I know what they want and I chose to tell them exactly now, how we look at it and as I put it earlier now I'm going to pursue this and at the same time I'm going to reach out now, to some of the social groups or educationist, uh, educationist group uh, including the Chinese educationist group as well as the parents because we need to handle this even-handedly. And uh, let us be uh, more 
rational, and uh, we should we should be more concerned about you know the future, the competitiveness, and competitiveness of our kids, as well as the as well as the uh, necessary link or continuity uh, in the teaching of science and maths.